Hi everyone. Thought I'd get Zeus out and do a bit of a handling video and tell you a bit of his story so far. Um, he's an Atherton jungle python from northern Queensland. Um, he's about 12 months old. I think he was born at the end of February 2012. And we actually purchased him in September 2012. Um, he was the last um, male hatchling from that clutch. Um, and there was one other female there. So he was the second last hatchling to go. But from seeing other photos of um, other siblings and the um, hatchlings that the breeders actually kept for themselves. It's actually a very tough question as to whether the breeders picked the best one or we actually got him as the last one. Um, he has come up a very nice yellow and you probably can't quite see it in this light. Uh, he's come a long way from what he was originally as you expect with jungle pythons. They're often very aggressive as young hatchlings. When I first got him, as soon as I'd walk into the room where we kept him, he'd be striking at the cage, the edge of the tub, like as soon as I walked into the room. And now, as you can see, he's pretty content with me handling him and moving my hands over him, moving him through my hands. But that's expected when you spend the time with them, handle them down, get them used to your scent and actually being physically handled. So it's going to be interesting with our new one we pick up next week, um, going through that process again, getting them used to us. He is a very pretty snake and he's actually getting quite big because he's been a champion feeder. As you can see, He's 12 months old. I think he's nearly at a metre. He can still get a bit antsy sometimes when you're handling him, but he generally calms down reasonably quickly. Bring him in close, he'll relax. Get him in a reasonably tight ball in close to your body, it's when you take them away from your body that they feel a bit more exposed. So bring him in. So yeah, he was one of the last ones and in my opinion probably one of the best colouring of all of them. It'll be nice to see how he comes up in a few months' time, once he starts colouring up even more. So yeah, that's Zeus, our little temperamental boy. I'll put him away now. Next, I'll show you Lucy. I'll just wash my hands so that I get his scent off me. It's always good to practice hygiene with your reptiles, even though they may have been quarantined for the correct amount of time. It's still good just to practice that routine of um, washing your hands when you handle them. That way it gets any chemicals off your hands um, and the snakes don't feel too threatened. 
So at least use my little girl, as we've seen in the previous videos. She was also the last one in her clutch. I only got into um, keeping reptiles towards the end of the season, so that most of the hatchings had already been sold. And I think I've got a nice little snake. She's very calm and relaxed. Do whatever you want with her. Although she has been a bit of a problem at some stages, it hasn't been too much of an issue. As she comes up to shed, she gets very, very, very dull where she would go almost completely brown opposed to her normal uh, darker brown spots in a tanny colored body so that's her the little one we're very excited here to be getting new species of, of python next week. Oh, not species, not species. Uh, with our Bradley, we're getting a, a three bank enclosure made, which will consist of three 120 centimeter enclosures to suit the bigger animal. And we'll be putting the hatchin jungle python into one of those as well once she's big enough and we'll be transferring Zeus across into one of those as well so then hopefully sometime down the track whether it's in at the end of this year or next year I'm hoping to get a green tree python I'm just spending the time now preparing and learning as much as I can in preparation for that uh, just to make sure everything's set up how it should be and that there's no chance of problems occurring. They are a bit more temperamental than your standard um, Morelia animals. So hopefully in future that's where my collection's heading. Thanks for watching.